One, this podcast may contain spoilers from whatever TV show or movie is mentioned. Please listen at your own discretion. Welcome to viewers and audience. Yo, what's going on? I am Scoots Bronson. And I am S. Foster. That's right. You tuned into another episode of the Viewers Anonymous podcast where we give our reviews and takes of movies and TV straight out of Hollywood. What's going on with you, bro? Man, I can't call it, man. Just trying to uh trying to figure out how to survive in this world, man. This place that we call Earth, man. But uh but how you feeling, man? Everything good with you? Oh, excuse me. Yeah, man. Everything is going amazing, bro. I don't uh have no complaints. Um same, same here, man. Everything's slow motion, bro. Shit, I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. Yo, check this out, man. I gotta say this first. I, I okay. just seen something today, mm-hmm. and I got, I got to shout this person out at the very beginning of this pod. Okay, man, we got to shout out Zoe uh, Sadaya. And then how you say her name, Sadaya? And then it. Oh, Yo, Zoe Sadanya. Sadanya, first actor slash actress to be in four. Movies to make two billion dollars, man. Never been done before. Well, she did it in both. It. She definitely is. She did it in both of that of, of these Avatar movies, mm-hmm. and in Endgame, and I think the other one was Infinity Wars. Yep. Nobody's done it, but her. That's, That's so crazy. Up. That's crazy. I'm not mad at her. Yo, man, shout out to her, man. She doing, she yeah. doing, she she doing her job. Even though, in my opinion, the 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 best acting job I've seen her do was Colombiana, but you know, what Abs- I mean? but that's just that's just Absolutely. that's just personal taste, shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, she murdered yeah. that. Yeah, she definitely she murdered, murdered that. that. Um, but that that movie kind of go under the radar. But I had I had to get that out there, man, because I did see that this movie crossed it. Uh, the last in the last couple of days, that it crossed the two billion point, and it just for her to be involved, and not just involved. I mean, like she she's a you know what I'm saying a, a huge character. Absolutely. I mean, so so big, so big to the point where they killed her and brought her back. <laughs> like, well, I mean, they had to. Yeah, they had to at that point. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it's like no, I, 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 hey man, I'm not surprised that. You know what I'm saying? She's been in any of these movies, and she's a, a great actress. She's done her thing for years. Um, my one of my high school crushes for sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially when Columbiana came out, I seen that by myself in the movie. Well, it wasn't by myself. I seen that in the movie theater on a date, and uh, yeah, I was like, "Yo, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She got it. Yeah, yeah she got she- it." Yeah, she she definitely she definitely got it, man. And and been doing and been doing this for a while, bro. man. She been Beautiful. she been doing this for a while. Yo, it's it's not yeah. it's it's not as many, you know what I'm saying, black women over forty doing their thing. But I will say this: the ones that are, they don't look nowhere near forty. I mean, they look amazing. The fact that yo know, Angela Bassett is about to be seventy. No, that's nuts. You know what I'm saying? Look how fine that woman is. That's you know what I'm saying? Nuts. Loretta Devine, she probably around that same age, probably in her sixties. She fine as hell too. You know what I'm saying? No, none of them look their age at all. Not at Cicely, all. Cicely Tyson was what one hundred, almost a hundred. Yeah, she, she was she almost hundred seventy. Yeah, she only looked seventy. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, shout out to all them beautiful black women actresses, man. They they are definitely holding it down and keeping it together because good and is great. Neil Long, Gabrielle Union, you know what I'm saying? Uh uh Tika Sumter. Uh who am I missing? I'm missing a lot of people. Shout out to Queen Latifah. People. Queen Latifah don't look like Queen you know, her age at all either. Regina, she Regina King and people. Regina Hall. And it, it, absolutely. S- salute to all them beautiful black women out there doing their thing, man. They just looking good. Just as time ages, they all aging like wine, man. And good tequila. <laughs> good tequila. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right. So man, man so, what we got um, for the people today? 
Man, we have the blockbuster, you know what I'm saying? You mentioned it earlier, Avatar 2, The Way of Water. Um, This basically picks up where Avatar 1 left off, Jake Sully. Uh, he basically had kids. He's initiated into the tribe now. The, the, the chief of the tribe has passed on. Um, and, you know, it's time for them to kind of take over, man. And they basically are having hella kids and showing them the ways of the the Navi tribe and doing their thing. And then next thing you know, somehow the colonel just, or the general, or whatever that nigga name, or whoever he was supposed to be, this motherfucker just don't die. And they basically <laughs> try to infiltrate the Navi tribe and kill off Jake Sully and his family, but they do not succeed. They do not succeed at all. Um, and they still are trying to take over Pandora. They just don't learn. You know what I'm saying? These <laughs> people won't give up. <laughs> so basically, that's, that's what this movie is about. This movie is the second part of how these white folks won't give up. And it's a little bit of, you know what I'm saying, a water effort on this one. They bring in the Navy this time. Navy fails as well. Um, when, <laughs> when you watch this, man, what was your thoughts? Well, this is the last time I'm going to say it, for the, you know, because we could have some new listeners. But mm -hmm. the, my very first impression of the movie is, they should have definitely split this movie up. It should have been two Absolutely. parts. There should be like the 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 last hour and a half, the last mm -hmm. yeah, about the last hour hour forty five should have been a totally different movie. Absolutely. I mean, it was kind of a different movie because when they went to the water park, you know what I'm saying? It was it was different from from the forest or whatever whatnot. Yeah. But that's my first impressions of it. But um. But going to go see this, especially the way that I did, going to the theaters and actually being in the theater by myself. But mm -hmm. um, but no, it was. I mean, it was it was a good movie, but it also was like like you said, it was just like, yo, when are y'all gonna stop? Like, I mean, like, what is so important to you to where you you have to beat Jake? You know what I'm saying? Like he was like to the point where he turned himself into something that he hates. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To it's just like you would go to them to those links, but I will say what I liked about it the most was the fact of like the the ones that I I, I guess I can't really think of another name, but I would the only name that I could think of is like half breed, but it's like mm -hmm. to have like some of the kids like their hands are like regular, like they're kind of yeah. like you know regular people hands, right. and for them to put that in there makes sense because. They're not full, like DNA avatar. Like Jake is not a right. full, you know what I'm saying? Avatar, um, uh, uh, Weaver. What's her name in this? Um, uh, I forgot. I forgot what her name was, but like, and she is like in this tank because she's like, yeah, so she was incubating the whole goddamn time. Yeah, because and but they gave her, you know, the visions of her, mm -hmm. you know, through her daughter or whatever, whatnot. So mm -hmm. that part was cool, but I just thought that that was cool to put that in there because it's like, how do y'all go into their world and then all of a sudden, like the kids are just are just fine. Like they really kind of did it. Like, like I mean, I don't I don't know. I just thought there was something cool about putting that in there because you can see that when they went to the water part, that how they was well they was making fun of their tails because their tails wasn't built to swim through the water like they could. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, they're like, yo, look at their hands. Like, you know what I'm saying? They have breeze. They're not really real. So, you know, they made a point to to point that out. But I do think that her daughter, for some odd reason, I'm pretty sure you noticed that because, you, you know what I'm saying, you're pretty smart at this. She was able to adjust to the water shit better than anybody. Right. Like she, she was, was like able the, to, she was like the nerd out of all of them too, though. She was, and you know so you saying? think so that I'm, she was I'm just sure her so you thought that, alone. so you think it was to her intelligence to be able to know how to hold her breath long under the water to where she didn't have to go up as much as the other ones did. What well, I, I think that like so with her, if I know like with the oldest son, um, not night, I forgot how to pronounce her name. But with the oldest son, he was like, it, all of them had their own little thing, right? So, like, with the oldest son, he was, like, 
basically the the best warrior out of all of them. You know what I'm saying? Like um, yeah. the the character that Sigourney Weaver played, her daughter was like the brains of all of them. You know what I'm saying? The the um the youngest daughter. The actual youngest daughter was, she was like, you know what I'm saying? She was smart too, but she just wasn't as smart as Sigourney Weaver's character's daughter. So, like, they all had their roles that they played. Like, with Spider, he was like, to me, he was like the Jake Sully in the movie. You know what I'm saying? He was like kind of yeah, the young Jake version Sully. of like, him. Yeah, he was the, you know what I'm saying? He grew up around them or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He was still human, but he wanted to be one of them. He knew how to speak the language, all that kind of stuff. Stuff. So it was like they all had their own things, but like for for Sigourney Weaver's daughter, like her character was, you know, what I'm saying pretty much acclimated to everything. They knew how to speak the language. They knew how to be around them. They knew how to, you know, what I'm saying remember even when she was laying down at that one point in time where they was all going through before um the jackasses got there. And remember she was asleep and she was connecting to the to the planet. And I mean uh -huh. she's connected to the to the yeah, basically the planet. And then the grass and shit was breathing with her and shit. And the little things was coming down. Like, so to me, she was more so like them than anybody else was. Cause she was actually connecting, connected to all these motherfuckers. So I thought that was super, super dope. So I, to me, I just assumed like, because she was so intelligent, because she was so smart, she knew how to connect to the planet better. She knew how to connect to the great mother better than all of them. You know what I'm saying? Her connection was stronger. Cause it kind of showed you throughout the movie, like she was the one that was literally, you know what I'm saying, like in that shit. The rest of them, like they were, but they kind of weren't. Like you know what I'm saying, like um, I I can't I I can't say his name is Naya Tim or not not it's something like that. Man. Huh? I can't say none of their names, man. All right, yeah, and then I know I know, and then the, I haven't seen this movie in two weeks. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's their oldest son, but basically their oldest son, he was so, you know what I'm saying, like, he was so enthralled with, you know what I'm saying, whatever Jake was teaching them, so, or was teaching him, so, like, he basically was trying to be that warrior that his dad was. He was trying to walk in his dad's shoes, and so, like, he was so enthralled in that, And but, yeah, I, I wasn't surprised at all that she was the one that was catching on with, the, you know what I'm saying, like, being connected to the great mother and everything else like that. Yeah, I thought I thought that was interesting, man. And and to me, the most interesting storyline in this is the second son. It's mm -hmm. because I think that even Jake knew, like, yes, this is exactly how I was at that age. Yep. And he and and I think that when he was trying to get the discipline, the discipline out of him to where Yo, like this is where I am today. Like I had mm -hmm. to, you know what I'm saying? Like I had to mature to get to this point. And I think that him dealing with his son being exactly him. I like for me, we we really didn't get to see Jake really wild out because he was in a wheelchair in the first one. Well, but, this is the interesting thing too, because remember his his youngest, the, the second oldest, was supposed to be just like Jake. The oldest son was trying to walk in Jake's shoes, but he was more so like his older brother, which is why he was even why Jake was there in the first place. True, true, but I, I think that the 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 second well the, the first son was. He was the mature. It wasn't even really the mature Jake. I think he was his mom. No, I, that's what I, I'm trying to tell you. I I think yeah, it was like because remember his brother. His brother was the one that followed orders and did all the other shit. Remember yeah, Jake was the wild card. That's so. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like his oldest son was supposed to be like his brother, but he was trying to follow in Jake's shoes. And then his youngest son was just like you said, just like him. He was a wild card. Like that motherfucker was just like, nah, we're going to do it this way. We're going to do it this way. Like, yeah, I know we're supposed to be up here flying, but now nah, we need to get down there and get some of them guns too. So I think that it was more so like, you know what I'm saying? He was trying to, I mean, well, not trying to, but they kind of pretty much recreated, you know what I'm saying? That those, the brothers and his sons. And then like the youngest daughter, I think was more so like the mom. I, I see what you're saying there, but I, I think the oldest son 
was more like the mom, but mm-hmm. like I mean, like how he would follow orders, how disciplined he was, how mm-hmm. uh, how do how do I want to put it? I, I, I'm you said the the right thing of calling him the wild card right. because Jake was definitely a wild card, and then you have to think like they never really showed us. Maybe they did, but it just I haven't seen the first Avatar in so long. But mm-hmm. I don't really remember them showing how he got into that wheelchair. And I'm thinking right. he probably was doing some wild shit that he wasn't supposed to be doing and got fucked up and got put in that damn wheelchair. Mm-hmm. So I think that's what ended up happening with him. And I think that what he was trying to teach his, his second son was like, yo, follow your brother. You need to do these things. But I think that he knew like, man, and I wish they would have put this in the movie to where he was just like, man, but he's just like I was. Because right. I feel like he was a spitting image of him and everything that he did and everything that he got upset about him doing, it's like, yeah, I would have done the same shit. Like, everything he's doing, he's doing everything that I would have done, especially at that age. So mm-hmm. I thought that, that that was a good dynamic that they put in the movie of how different all of these kids were. Yeah. And when it comes to, uh, you know, I'm saying the uh, spider which was which was interesting i i was listening to joe and them the other week and they were just talking about like you know what i'm saying how the little white dude got dreads and why the avatar people got dreads and all this type of stuff mm-hmm. and it's just like okay dude this is like i didn't watch it and, and that was like my thought but right. i thought spider was an interesting character because for him to be running around with all of them, like I, it automatically made me think of Tarzan. That's first of all, that's the first thing that came to my mind. Absolutely, it was like <laughs> like Spider is Tarzan. Is Tarzan? Absolutely. But but for for the for the Colonel dude to be his father, well, biologically, mm-hmm. like so basically they cooked up some shit in a lab and then created. You know him from this DNA, and then he just got left behind, and he was raised with them. Right. And I like the relationship that like all of the of the kids had because they never they never treated Spider like an outsider. But his wife did though; she was just like, "He's mm-hmm. not one of us." But at the same time, it's like, "Well, you're you know what I'm saying half of your kids is Spider." You know what I'm saying? It's it's just in a sense, yeah. It's yeah, I, I I thought that I thought that that dynamic was. I don't want to necessarily call it genius, but I mean it was damn near there. Like because there's certain little storylines in this movie that when you see it play out, you're like, oh okay, I see mm-hmm. I see what they did there. Especially the whole shit of like when the when the big battle went towards the end, and when when Spider pull his dad out of the water is just like he didn't have it he didn't have it in him I don't know if it was more of like because when I think back I don't really remember did Spider kill anybody Uh -uh. I don't remember if he killed anybody Uh -uh. so I don't think Spider is really about that life so when he pulled well, him out of the water, he, he's been around them the whole time. So he would have never even thought to do that in the first place. Because remember, that wasn't their thing. They thing wasn't to kill people. The only reason they was often of niggas was because they was with Jake Sully's group, and Jake Sully was the reason that you know what I'm saying they was getting busy on motherfuckers. Because if it wasn't for Jake Sully, they wouldn't even be thinking that way to begin with. Remember, because she kept because the his wife kept telling them like, "Yo, like nigga, this your family. This ain't a squad." Like, yo, you got to yeah. relax on these kids. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, but I think that he was trying to prepare because I think he knew at some point they would come back. I mean, because he's one of them. Mm-hmm. At the Absolutely. end of the day, he's like, yo, they're, they're not going to stop. So I need them to be prepared just in case some shit pop off. And they right. ended up popping off. You know what I'm saying? They came back even even more prepared. Now, both both sides was prepared, but they just didn't think that they would come through and just destroy the damn horse the way that they did. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, they came through and set that whole bitch on fire, but like... Absolutely. Like, like that was crazy. Which is the I mean, reason you want to talk about colonizing shit. The way of the water. 
Yeah. And had to go get with this because they should have been to that a long time ago. But they had their own tribes though. Like they were different. Like how what I thought was sweet about that was so the regular avatar people are blue and the way of the mm-hmm. water people, they are green. Right. And they hands are different. They feet are different because they their mm-hmm. bodies adjusted to their environment because they swim. Yeah. So they should have waved like, and all that shit, yeah. Yeah, that's web. Their tails are bigger, they're thicker, so they can, you know what I'm saying, weave through mm-hmm. the water a whole lot faster. So mm-hmm. I thought that that was cool. So I was about to say a fun fact, but let me ask, do you believe it? So from watching the Discovery Channel and, you know what I'm saying, shit like that, Animal Planet and shit like that. So mm-hmm. word is the blue whale used to have feet. But they adjusted their environment and they grew the fins. You believe that shit? Absolutely. Yeah, animals are crazy, dude. I mean, if you and believe the blue in dino- if you believe in dinosaurs, then absolutely. I believe whales used to have feet, one hundred percent. But because of climate and all the ice age and all that shit, they eventually just said, "Fuck the feet. We don't need them," and just grew to have fins and tails. Now I will say this. The one thing I did catch about this movie was this shit was just Wakanda forever with blue people and green people. <laughs> just saying. I'm with that. That's how this was. That's how this was. They they was fighting against the enemy. And mm-hmm. in the midst of fighting against the enemy, the enemy got the best of them. Then they end up going to the green people. You know what I'm saying? They had a little battle. And then at the end of it all, you know what I'm saying? They teamed up and fought against the real enemy. It's pretty yep. much Wakanda forever. And also, I got Vietnam vibes out of this bitch. Yeah, absolutely. Because they go and they try to get some answers out of a different tribe of mm-hmm. the green people. They don't sell out. So what they do? They torched that shit. Yeah. <laughs> what did they do in the Vietnam War? Torched they didn't get the answers shit. they wanted. They torched the shit. It's torched like all that shit. Yo, I'm like, I'm watching this and I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Like, this mm-hmm. is the most colonizer American shit that there is. Like, yo, put the on fact screen. that they was the fact that they got beat and they was still there talking about, yeah, Pandora is gonna be home to humanity. And we just got to get rid of the hostiles. No, they're not the hostile. You're hostile. You're on their home planet. Take your ass somewhere else. Don't live <laughs> on the ship. Leave these goddamn people alone. They flying on dragons and shit. They uh, 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 mastering whales. And here you come trying to take over the goddamn planet to bring humans there because you fucked up Earth. No, get your ass on. Get uh, Make a fucking special ship that y'all can live on and keep it fucking pushing, bro. Don't go up there and tearing up another fucking planet all because this shit is inhabitable for you. Leave them goddamn people alone. Yeah, that was that was that was some bullshit, man. I, it was some bullshit. The tactic, the tactics that they used is is everything that Amer human Americans would do, and it's like Absolutely. it is wild. It is wild that James Cameron would come up with this shit because. I mean, the first one was the same thing, but this one was just, you know what I'm saying, on steroids with water. And mm-hmm. I, I like the the way that when when they did start getting with the green people, you know what I'm saying, the water people, it was just like, so they come there and they, you know what I'm saying, beg them to let them stay or whatever, whatnot. And the wife was not with it at all. She was like, hell no. Nah. Like, y'all got a, people following y'all? Nah. Like we don't we don't need them problems. I don't but, blame know, it. Get your ass on. Go knock on the other door. We ain't having none of that shit. This shit ain't got nothing to do with us. We down here with this and, water. We chilling. Y'all trying to fuck up the beach. Yeah, and then like she pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And 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 what I don't understand is I think she said some shit about like her cousin or some shit was like one of them whale things. Like hold up, like how is this? possible like yeah, it, it started getting <laughs> weird around that time but i didn't i don't yeah know, i'm like like shit, man. like what like that's your cousin like the fuck like I, I didn't i didn't understand that and then like that the whole part of helped them, 
True, but then like I w- the one thing I didn't understand was like the one outcast because he killed somebody, and then once you mm-hmm. figured out what the story was, it's like they did the right shit at that time. Like that was the I mean, right yeah, thing to do. You gotta you gotta have some sense of drama to build up the anticipation of what's about to happen. You know what I'm saying? So they did because I like did. the whole storyline with it, with that being the outcast, and then the 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 second child being the outcast as well. So they mm-hmm. built this little rapport together and they found a way to communicate with each other when mm-hmm. they wasn't the same quote unquote species because the the water people had like a different language. Like they they yeah. spoke differently to those things. So There's he had to figure out Yeah. And and so yeah. A lot of that, a lot of that was cool, and and I see what you're saying, like to add that drum in there, to add that different storyline in there, mm-hmm. to to draw a comparisons between the um between the the second son and as well, but yeah, to, to for them to take the links that they took, really just to, just to kill this man and his family, just because he defeated you before, it's just like, come on, man, you need to calm your ass down. It's, what I don't me know, off, man. I'm going to tell you what really pissed me off. Watching this movie 12 minutes into the movie, you see this asshole again. And now he's an avatar. Fam, <clears throat> stop. What made you think that you and your team was going to be able to go down there and, and roam amongst the regular fucking Navi people? No. First off, you got a military haircut. They're going to spot you for a <laughs> Nigga, you are you ain't even low. Like and then when they did drop them down, they didn't even drop them down in some shit that looked like some shit they were. These motherfuckers all got on military gear. Yeah, <laughs> you niggas are go get spotted. What the fuck was I thinking? What kind of ramshack ass operation is this? <laughs> like what what made you think that you could that they could drop you down on a fucking copter or whatever ship that was, and then y'all was gonna go in there with guns? And fucking military <laughs> gear. Like these niggas got on fucking flak jackets and camo pants and boots. These niggas don't wear fucking boots. <laughs> like all this shit was just stupid, bro. Like at least take your shoes off. Get your ass out here amongst the pit. Like look like one of these motherfuckers. Then these niggas, these little badass kids running around the forest, they look down. They oh shit, this this ain't normal. These some big ass boots. Where did this come from? <laughs> you know, like, come on, man! Like, all that whole shit was a sham, man. If I was that, if I was that general, I'd whoop his ass. That lady <laughs> general that he had to meet when she was punching the bag and shit. If I was her, I'd whoop his ass when he came back. Like, you fucked this whole goddamn thing up, and you lost four of my fucking people to arrows and and fucking uh uh, uh bite marks. <laughs> Just stupid. Man. Like, I, come on, man. Maybe, maybe it wasn't necessarily a, a operation where he was gonna try to blend in. Maybe it was more no, that of was like the whole plan. He literally said this nigga literally like verbatim. This nigga was like, yeah, our 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 uh, what do you say? Our training mixed with looking like them, our, the camouflage with them. We'll get in there and we'll just take everything over. Nigga, you have a crew cut. None of them niggas look like that, fam. <laughs> don't none of these yeah, the crew know- cut with a ponytail. Come on, bro. Don't none of these niggas know the language. Don't none of y'all dress like them. Like, they, you could at least dress like, like, what type of special ops mission was this? Then the 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 little uh the little animal things when they was running through they looked at them they realized like oh you motherfuckers ain't the goddamn avatars let's keep moving and they left them motherfuckers alone she like no shit I was like no bitch you don't understand what's going on they realized you ain't who you are you think the avatars ain't gonna realize that too all this shit is connected stupid yeah because only one of them because he had to, he had one person to translate it's like so hold up. So you are supposed to be the brains of this operation, and you can't speak oh, the language. Man. You need somebody else to translate for you. And I, now, it's how that like, look? Now, how that look if they see y'all and y'all just so happen to get in, and they be like, "Yeah, tell them this," and then they translate. No, nigga, they gonna get it because you got a fucking translator. Stupid. This man, all, that whole that whole that whole plan was doomed to fail, bro. 
It was just doomed to fail. The whole thing was doomed to fail. I'm glad they took them motherfuckers out. That shit made me happy. Every time somebody got hit with an arrow, I cheered. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was stupid, bro. I hate when I see I mean, movies when motherfuckers got just dumbass plans. I mean, it, it was a dumb plan. It was not well executed. It wasn't well thought out. It was just more of like, if if I, I in his eyes, if I almost defeated them as an American in one of them big ass robot things, he was very then he if I'm, almost did if, a goddamn thing. If, well, I mean, in his eyes, he th- he thought he That's did good. He was he was very delusional because they and, were still standing very well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they still they still whooped his ass. Mm-hmm. But I think that he's like, yo, in his eyes, if, if I can get the speed and the power that they got, oh, I'm definitely going to fuck them up this time. And all he did was force them to move. Like, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That was it. That's, that's, that's all you did, dude. All you did was force them to move. Like, you, you, didn't, you didn't do shit. But going, but going I, I thought that the direction that they took the movie, man, for them to pack up now. I wonder. Let me, let me ask you this. Let's go to the mm-hmm. wife real quick. For her life to be good, you know what I'm saying? She ain't got no issues. Yeah. And then they call them. What they call them? The sky people. What the fuck they call them? The sky um, people. Yeah, it was the sky people. So mm-hmm. for him to come in as a, you know what I'm saying? She only. Well, she knew him. As the Avatar version first, and then right. she actually saw his real body or whatever, whatnot. But anyway, you get involved with this guy. Now your whole life goes to shit. You lose mm-hmm. your home. You lose your brother. I think mm-hmm. she lost her parents too, didn't she? I think yeah, her parents died. died. Yeah. You you lost everybody because of this dude. Then you stay with him. You have kids with him. Mm-hmm. And now. The sky people come back years later, and now your whole home is burnt to flames, and you got to go to the damn water people. Mm-hmm. It's like maybe I shouldn't fuck with this dude. Absolutely, that's something I think. What the fuck was they thinking <laughs> this whole time, bro? Like I know she was mad than the motherfucker. Like you know what? I'm oh, this she, motherfucker. She was hot, man. Nothing but trouble. Nothing but trouble. But man, when she. Matter of fact, that is a funny ass movie, but right? nothing but trouble. Well, if but, she um, wasn't to him to begin with, that shit wouldn't have happened. Because he definitely said, We gotta go and leave these motherfuckers behind so they won't keep coming here. But she was like, No, nah, I can't leave my people. Well, shit, that's kind of her fault. Well, not necessarily because th- what they would have done is if some of the people, the people that would have been left behind, they would have asked them and tortured them to tell them where they went. So I don't think I don't so. think that I, this I they remember they couldn't even get within like 10 feet of that motherfucker to begin with. Because remember they said every time they sent the uh, uh, ship up there, that motherfucker was getting tore down. That it was, it was. Um I just feel like how determined he was mm-hmm. to to kill this man. And it's just like, I don't know, man. I don't have an ego like that. So I'm trying to think, like, would I go that far to just, because this one dude and his girl defeated me as, it I was about to say, as an American. Sound. Yeah, it's, like, it's not yeah, worth he it, just, He just kept coming. And I'm talking about, dude, man, did you see they, I mean, I know you saw it, but like, they factory was crazy. Yeah, they like, had spiders and shit building shit. They had robots building shit. Like, man, first, they first said that they you, she you could build a planet. city. You ain't supposed to be on. They said they think they said them robots can build a city in hours. Yeah, she said, well, not she a, said maybe not a city, but a building. Six days. No, she said a building yeah. in hours, a city in six days. Fam, let me tell you something. If you can do all that, then take your ass to another planet that ain't nobody on. How about that? Build all that shit there. Why do you got to come fuck with these? These people ain't did nothing to you. All they want to do is live their goddamn life. And then this is the thing. This is what really pisses me off. So you go kill these motherfuckers off, right? You kill the Navi people off. 
Well, what you fail to realize is the Navi people are the reason that this place is still thriving. So if you kill them off, this place is just going to die. Then you yeah. ain't going to have shit. That's stupid. Yeah, because the resources aren't going to be the same. They the one That's just like anytime you take certain animals out of their envir environment, mm -hmm. like certain things get fucked up. Right? Absolutely. That's, that's just like People say, oh, well, we, we should take this animal or this insect or whatever out. And it's just like, what you don't understand is all of these animals have something to do with the ecosystem to keep it going. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yep. saying? Like, everybody, everybody has a job to do. You know, they're just like, even when it comes to, like, like ants, right? Like, we look mm -hmm. at them and we think, Oh well, ants ain't ain't got no importance. Well, actually, they do. They like Big whatever time. they're down there doing. That shit keeps everything going the way it's supposed mm -hmm. to go. And if you eliminate all of them, we are gonna start to see shit getting fucked up. You yeah. know, so that's what would happen if you eliminate all the people from this planet. The planet ain't gonna survive the way that it normally survives. Absolutely. So in all actuality, you you're really gonna fuck it up. Mm -hmm. And it's probably going to go to the point where it's not livable. I mean, y'all already got to wear these oxygen masks. Like, y'all can't even breathe here. Why that the fuck are y'all here when you can't even exactly, breathe here? That lets you know you ain't supposed to be. If you got to wear a mask outside, I'm not trying to wear no fucking mask outside just to go to work. Fuck that. Let's go to another planet. Let's find some place with some oxygen that ain't shit on. You think shit bad now. Wait till that big ass jaguar creature come find your ass. In the middle of the night, you outside smoking a cigarette, that motherfucker creep up on you and eat your motherfucking ass alive. Then what? And then what also does it does because like the obviously the air is different. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, so what happens when you start bringing human shit to it? You know what I'm saying? Y'all build a fucking plant. You know what I'm saying? What's going to happen? What Y'all can bring pollution that's not normally there. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And they're just and like you gonna start, else. yeah, like you gonna start building human shit that's really gonna actually start fucking shit up. What happened now? That there wasn't. Well, I don't know what it ran off of. That they didn't really get deep into that. Like yeah. I don't know what those planes ran off of. So it's just like I don't know if it ran off of energy, if it ran off of gas. But it's just like okay, yeah. so what happened? Are y'all gonna start bringing cars and all types of shit like that? That shit can fuck up the whole ecosystem. So it's just like, mm -hmm. I, I don't think they had that shit planned out either. Because it's just like, to think that you're going to come and take over a planet that you can't even breathe on. Like, what, what was... Stupid. I mean, what was they playing? Was they gonna build like a like a like a dome type thing and just fucking live inside the dome? <laughs> like, I don't understand like what they Man, playing with. It don't seem like they anything was well executed. To me, they didn't know enough about this fucking planet to even take it over. First and foremost, they didn't even know it was a whole another group of fucking people there. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even know green people was walking on this motherfucker. They was just trying to take over the blue people. Not only that, we don't even know what all animals is on. They could have had a goddamn whale the size of a fucking megalodon on that motherfucker. They don't know nothing, man. They got well, they did trying to take over. It, it was just stupid. They did know about the whales. Remember the uh the outcast no, no, whale not, had not the regular whale. I'm talking about a whale the size of a fucking megalodon. They don't. They didn't know shit about the animals or nothing on this fucking planet. Yeah, okay. They knew about the whale. They knew about the little blackish blue jaguar thing. That's all cool. However, what else is on this fucking planet? They didn't even know about the green people. So that what, that there might is be some red people on this motherfucker that that live in lava. It might be some yellow people that just out there on the beach in the sun. It's a bunch of shit that could be going on out here. We don't know. But he's we so hung even, up. We ain't even got the Avatar three. Yeah, he's so hung up on killing Jake. So what happens after you kill Jake? That's you know what, what I'm saying? saying? It's just like it. But the one part that I didn't get was so the outcast will had a stake thing in one of his fins. One of his fins was blown off and he had a stake thing that was in his fin. So mm -hmm. obviously there was a war that happened before 
Yep. And they also had the machine, and they knew how to get them to come up out of the water, hit them with the thing, and they knew how to kill mm-hmm. them. And all they wanted was some shit to come out of their brains. Right. And it's just like, yo, that is just like some humans to go and fuck with these damn things. How do you know the shit that y'all are sucking out of their brain? I forget what it said it would do. Like I said, I haven't seen this movie in two weeks. But mm-hmm. but they said just one of those vials was like something crazy, like $12 million or some, or some shit. It was some weird and, shit. Let me tell you. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, like, man, y'all just killing this big-ass damn whale to suck the shit out of his brain. Mm-hmm. And that's the shit that's funding the whole operation that y'all doing. Absolutely. Like, that's that's what colonizers do. Let me tell you something that really pissed me off in this movie, okay? This is this is where I've seen it, and I was like, this movie was good, but this part just, I was like, yo, ain't no way this, this shit really happened. So remember when the ship was going down and Spider and the old girl was running through the thing and they were trying to save each other? Uh-huh. So remember when the ship fully sunk into the water? Okay. It's a part It's a part in that movie where Spider goes underwater. Okay. Spider has a fucking mask on that's giving him oxygen. Yeah. And he went to the top of the water and said, and that made me mad. Sir, you uh, have I a don't... fucking mask on. You you not drowning. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, man? He took a deep breath of it as if like he was really about to sir, you're not about to die. You have a mask on. When you was under the water, nothing was wrong with you. You have a mask of oxygen on. That shit is not gonna kill you, brother. Why are you going up gasping for air? Man, maybe maybe he just Following everything that the, that the avatars are doing, on, man. Stop, Maybe man. he wasn't not, thinking we about it. That. They didn't think that. They didn't think that part too. My nigga came up for air, bro. He came up for air. <laughs> I was like, yeah, nah, nah. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that at all. That's crazy. Yeah, that's funny. That's funny. I don't. I don't remember that part. Bro, I'm telling you, when you get a chance to go back and watch this shit when they come out on whatever streaming service. Go all the way to the end where the sink ship with him <laughs> and Sigourney Weaver's daughter all falling into the water. They they get sunk down into the water and they splashing around in the water like that up underwater and they come up for air. Sigourney Weaver daughter go <gasps> and so the spider. I said, yo, he has a fucking mask full of oxygen on. Why is he doing that? Oh man. Horrible. You funny. I can't believe they put that in there. Honestly, like now, like talking to you about it, it's I can't believe some of the shit that they were doing. Yeah. I don't know why they put it in there because it's like it just it didn't seem like I, I don't know if that was his whole purpose. It could have been James Cameron's vision to be like, "Yo, look how unprepared they are. Look how they just so going in there." With, it should have no never been a three-hour movie. I mean, I've been saying that since I seen yeah. it. It was just like, yo, this shit was that shit could have been like long. an hour and a half, hour forty five, and still hit the point. Yeah, like we we didn't need like the whole build up that they gave us. It's like, okay, all that shit is cool, but mm-hmm. it's just like we didn't have to see like the whole training section of them learning how to be the water people. You know what I'm exactly. saying? How they kept failing and. Now they got these sea things instead of the things that fly. And he's trying yeah, to connect them to them. It's the green like, and blue people montage is unnecessary. Yeah, we, we didn't need all of that. Like to, right. to make the point that they made, like you could make it shorter than three hours and twelve minutes. Yeah, but I, I it it seems like now, like thinking about it now, it's like yo, like, and that could have been his plan. His plan could have been. Look how unprepared they are. Look how their plan is not it's not a foolproof plan. Like they're really going in blind. Mm-hmm. That that could have been it. And then like like even the whole part of like when he would uh when the general dude takes spider everywhere and then he and then when he first learned how to tame the dragon or whatever, and he's like, Well, this takes months of training and, and you have to do this and you have to do that. Mm-hmm. And he was like, and then Spider started laughing at him. He's like, what are you laughing at? He was like, 
when Jake did it this way, well, if Jake did it this way, I'm going to do it this way, too. It's like, yo, man, this fucking guy, man. It's just like, yeah. come on. It, it got irritating, bro. It got irritating. This old-ass like, white man then turned into a white guy <laughs> now all of a sudden. He just know all the ways of shit. Yeah, I, I didn't like that part, bro. I, I, I don't like his character to begin with. His character, yeah, his character irritated the fuck out of me. I hate when they make military characters like that. Like, dude, just kill him and get it over with, please. And then they had him dead. He was dead. A spider fucking pulled Who's him saying? out of the water. Man. Exactly. You can't trust that little motherfucker. If he coming up for air with an air full of mask on, I mean a mask <laughs> full of air on, air then of course he's going to be the one to save the motherfucker that he ain't supposed to save. You can't trust no stupid motherfucker like that. He's dumb. He's a dumb kid, obviously. Well, they was going back and forth with could you trust him or could you not? And I think that that was what Found they were really out, trying to do. Well, the thing is, that's the weird part. Like he saves, he saves them, but then he goes back to them. So it's like, yeah. What else is he gonna do? He can't go ride with the nigga he just saved. He just went against I mean, that motherfucker. Yeah, but he, but then he tried to play the son card. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, I don't know, man. You know I know, man. I know why he saved them. He saved them for the whole purpose of having Avatar that's his three. Daddy. Yeah, man. In, in Avatar three, they better whoop Spider's ass. Because he's going to turn on him. I, I, I'm i telling you now. Now that he knows who his daddy is, he's going to turn no. on him. No. I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna tell you what's going to happen in Avatar 3. Mm-hmm. When, when, when they able to get a lab together. They got they had a lab. I don't know if it's still there or not. Because remember, mm-hmm. um, uh, Weaver is, is in the, 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 th- the thing. The, yeah, the, inc- the incubator. Yeah. Incubator. They're going to find a way to get Spider a fucking body. Watch what I tell you. Spider's gonna have and a body. If Spider get in, a body, in Avatar three, they uh, this is what they gotta stop doing is creating the bodies for these motherfuckers because this <laughs> is not a, a, a good plan either. This ain't working out because the, the bodies that they gave them motherfuckers, we seen what happened with that. Now you know what though they might fuck around and get a body to a new tribe and we don't know. You mean like Spider being one of the green people? Possibly, or or they could just say fuck all this shit and then steal the movie plot of Avatar: The Last Airbender and make him like one of the fire people or the air people or some shit. Because we got well, we got the Earth people, which is the blue ones. We got the water people, which is the green ones. We don't got no fire people and we ain't got no air people yet. So we don't know. You own us, home. I'm just you saying, man. I'm just saying I, they I, stole the they stole the plot line to, to Wakanda Fever. Avatar the last airbender is next. So James Cameron just out here stealing all the ideas. Absolutely. Bro, this was this was Wakanda Fever. This was the blacks and the Mexicans fighting and coming together <laughs> at the end. That's all Wakanda Fever was. was the blacks and the Mexicans fighting and basically teamed yeah. up to whoop on the white man at the end of the movie. This one is just a little bit further down the line, this is the blacks and the Mexicans, you know what I'm saying, coming together. The Mexicans teaching the blacks how to swim to fight off the white man. If I'm like, yo, if I'm lying, <laughs> hit, hit me up on Twitter and let me know. I'm telling you, that's exactly what this was. This was Wakanda Forever, the extended version. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, my stupid as fuck. I'm just saying, uh, the man. extended version. It it now, I have to say it does have a lot of similarities with Black Panther. Absolutely. It does. Um, but the the way the way I looked at it, because you you have a, a a great analogy there. I, I the way I looked at it when Spider pulled him out, I looked at it like okay, like he's he's caught in the middle of like. Yeah, this dude is biologically my dad, even though he was mm-hmm. never here for me. But that's still who he is. And we don't necessarily, quote unquote, kill people. But I thought it was more of like, okay, James is like, let me let me open. Because I think what ended up happening with the general dude is the fact of, I think he knew maybe he wasn't necessarily a fan favorite. 
but I think it was more like his character ended up being so big that we, I have to bring this dude back. They yeah, they didn't they didn't want to create another bad guy because the, the general lady that they had, she didn't seem like she was gonna be a good bad guy. Yeah, but I mean, every time I see her, man, all I see is Sopranos, man. She's that's hilarious. She's totally Sopranos. But the way wife. she was, the way she was in that machine, punch, kicking and punching the punching bag, she she seemed trash. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> she looked like they'd have got her out of there quickly. <laughs> they'd have got her and her team out of there ASAP. That shit would have been a five minute movie if it was, she was the bad guy. Yeah, yeah, they they brought him back, but it, it's I don't I don't know, man. It's like the the more and more I think about this movie, I mean, you are right. Like this movie, because see, I was going off on the whole thing of like, yo, they should have just split it up. Mm-hmm. But you saying that, yo, this just could have been an hour 45. Yeah, they could have knocked this shit down an hour 45 and got the same result, bro. I'm sorry. Like, they, it, there was no need for this shit to be three hours long whatsoever. They gave and us a then, bunch like, of shit we didn't need. They gave us some montages for the, or they gave us a montage for no reason. Um, and then not only that, they made them come together with a whole new race. Of, I mean, a whole new group of motherfuckers that we ain't know nothing about in the beginning. Like, so you mean to tell me this whole time these motherfuckers is literally fighting these motherfuckers in these floating places in this in these floating rocks or whatever for no reason? They could have just went down there and whooped on the water people and had the same fucking effect. Like that's bullshit, bro. And then you got fucking actors teaching these motherfuckers how to... I watched this damn video, dude. So, Kate Winslet has the longest... Like, she was underwater. She held her breath for seven minutes, my guy. Who? Kate Winslet. Held her breath for seven minutes? Seven minutes underwater. I don't know about that one, bro. That's weird. Because, like, with the video I was watching... Mm-hmm. Because so everything would look as real as possible. Like a lot of those yeah. water scenes was actually done underwater. Underwater, yeah. So she they had them. The reptilians. <laughs> <laughs> that's look, crazy. she just need. Look, now that we got this out the way, she just need to focus on doing Mayor of East Town Part Absolutely. Two. Absolutely, right? season God two. Damn, like, it's about this. Time, man. This Come is on. like this is out of the way. Look, Avatar is out of the way now. Go here. And and Titanic ain't coming back no time soon. So get this Mary East Town out of there. Come on, man. So, like, so they were saying that they had to bring in these people, these trainers, to teach them how to. Because, like, this, they was teaching them the same shit that they was teaching in the movie. They was teaching the actors mm-hmm. of like slowing down your heart rate, so you'll be able to, you know, hold your breath longer on the water. So mm-hmm. I'm watching this training video. And it's just like they got Kate, like, you know what I'm saying, floating with her face, like, under the water and had her, like, holding her breath. And, like, they said that she was able to hold her breath for seven minutes. Eight. And that was just like, that's crazy. Seven yeah, minutes? Wow. That's, yo, that's insane. That's a, that's a long-ass time, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. That, I mean, like, she had to be breathing through her ears or something. That's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. What are we doing? Seven minutes? Why are you holding your breath for seven minutes? And I think that what they were trying to do is just like when they was training them to hold their breath so they could do like the underwater scenes, they was they was they was doing the training for them to hold their breath so they could do the technique and then do, you know what I'm saying, everything yeah. underwater that needs to be done. So I'm right. guessing when they was doing all of that training, she was able to hold her breath for seven minutes. So shout out to Kate Winslet. But yeah, Kate, if you're that. hearing if you're hearing this, quit bullshitting. You know what I'm saying? Yes. HBO man, already said two. Let's get it. Yes, let's get it, man. New story. Yeah. We we need to know, you know what I'm saying? What 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 happened with your daughter? We need mm-hmm. to know was you and, and your mom. I was able to fix y'all relationship. Yeah, we need, we need to, know. to know how your life is going on now that you cope with your son's death. Like, come on, man. Yeah, how man, we, we need this. What's the, what's the new case? I need to know what's the new case. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, how, how is the husband coming along with this? Like, what's up? Yeah, and, and we need to see the little kid when he locked up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Who who yeah. who yeah, like we we there's answers that need to be that need to be done. All right. You Absolutely. you should be available now. You should be available to knock this shit out. So quit playing. All right. And holding your Absolutely. breath for seven minutes. You know what I'm saying? Being a damn avatar. So uh so yeah, yeah. shout out to her too. But for sure, yeah, man. man. But, but I mean, look, man, honestly, when it when it when it comes to this movie, I I did an episode on the 28 minutes or less where I was like, it was right people in the room. I'm not now when I say this, don't get me wrong, James Cameron got talent. Don't get me mm-hmm. wrong, he's a great director. Came out, you know what I'm saying? He got what? I think he got three now. So he got three movies to make at least two billion dollars. You know what I'm saying? When you throw Absolutely. uh Titanic in there. Yep. But the point that I was making in that podcast is if you give a person like F. Gary Gray, you know what I'm saying? The Hughes brothers or Ryan Coogler, if you give them that budget that James Cameron is getting, mm-hmm. they could pull some shit like this off. In my opinion, I think they could pull some of this shit off. They're I not getting Ryan, the type I think of money. Ryan Coogler, F. Gary Gray, for sure. I don't know about the Hughes brothers, but Ryan Coogler, F. Gary Gray, definitely. Um, Ryan Coogler, for sure, because we've seen what he did with, you know, sending the prototype for this movie. Wakanda forever, and, you know, what I'm saying? And, and Black Panther. So we know it can be done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, for sure. But um, I mean, listen, man, that's you know what I'm saying. That's well wishing, man. We would love to see them get those. Roles. I mean, Ryan Coogler basically, he he has gotten it because I mean, yeah, he's in the MCU he would, now. Yeah, he with Disney, and Disney got bread, so. Ryan Coogler for sure, man. I mean, anything that he's put his hands on has always been gold. The last two joints he put his hands on has been platinum with, you know what I'm saying, the whole Black Panther franchise. Um, I, I honestly think they should do one more, though. You know what I'm saying? Just to cap it off. Yeah. You're talking about the... Um, the... Uh... Oh, shit, I can't think of the damn movie. Um, the Wakanda joint. I'm assuming you're talking about the Wakanda joint. Like, do one more. You're talking about Black Panther and Wakanda. Film. Okay, they just need to do one more okay. Black Panther movie. Okay, For sure. I thought go I thought that's and, what you were saying. Yeah, go ahead and let Shuri actually be Black Panther in the movie. I think that'd be dope. I know they keep trying to force it to make his son a Black Panther, but. We don't need that right now. Let Shuri be Black Panther, bro. I don't understand what everybody's beef is with Shuri being Black Panther. Um, if you know anything about the comics, she was the most ruthless back Black Panther out of all of them. So we actually might get the Black Panther we've been looking for this whole time, which I think would be dope. I would like to see Letitia Wright go out there and actually whoop somebody's ass for real for once, for a chance. You know what I'm saying? The first movie they had her shooting them little, you know what I'm saying, air cannons at her hand, shaped like the Panther or whatever. The second one, they ain't let her kill Namor, which I get that too. We need Namor for later on, but you know what I'm saying? Let her go out there and whoop on some people, man. Shit. I feel you. Nobody I thought... care what these nerds is crying about. Let that woman be Black Panther. Shit, we got man. Captain Marvel. Man, the dopest thing about that whole movie was when when she went to see the ancestors and it was Killmonger. I was absolutely like, yo, absolutely. That's absolutely. what they need to bring back. They need, they need to what they need to do is bring the resurrection altar back and bring that nigga back. That's what I'm waiting on. That was that was dope. We that need Killmonger. I wasn't mad at that part. Yeah, I'm with you. Yes, sir. So let's go ahead and get into the fire flames, bro. Man, let's do it. Yoga fire, yoga flame. All right, man. So what you giving this, man? For what this movie is, I understand everybody excited about it. Made all this money, blue people, green people, all this shit, yo. Honestly, this movie's about a three. Um, it wasn't that it was bad. It was just it was way too much. It was a lot of unnecessary shit that was in it. Like I said earlier, I don't know if they were going for, like, let's say that 
that show the sky people as in people who can't put together great plans, not really thinking a lot of shit through. I, mm-hmm. I thought that that I thought that that was like I said, it could have been the plan. That could have been the plan, but also I think the storyline with the kids that was really to me the best storyline throughout this whole thing was the the whole mm-hmm. shit that was dealing with the kids and the whole shit of them being like quote unquote half breeds and shit like that. I thought yeah. that all of that shit was cool, but for this to be three hours and twelve minutes, we did not need all that shit. To me, that really knocked it down. That's kind of like when. And this is no disrespect to him, but it's just like I remember when when Chris Brown came out with that album, like twenty six songs on it. It's like yo, mm-hmm. way too much fuck. There's way too many fucking songs, man. And like this movie, it was just <laughs> I like Chris, man, but it's just way too many songs, yo. Yeah, way too many songs. And this movie yeah. was just way too long, man. It was a lot of unnecessary shit in there, man. We did not need all of that. So man, yeah. I gotta knock it for it being so long when it didn't need to be. So I'm gonna give this movie a three, man. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. I'm gonna agree with you. I'm gonna give this uh movie the same rating that it, the hours it gave us three. Um <laughs> like you said, it was a bunch of filler content in this movie. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I was not a fan of the spider character. There was no need for him to be in this movie. I'm just putting that out there. There was no need for him to be in this fucking movie. Oh, he's the the, the general son or whatever. Who cares? The, the movie would have been the same without Spider. It was a lot of shit in this movie that we just didn't need. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not, and and I'm not gonna lie to you. It it really pissed me off that this nigga came up for air, bro. I'm sorry. That just, <laughs> that just really rubbed me the wrong way, bro. I I just didn't like that. I'm like, fam, you didn't need to do that. So that part, and then just the fact that, you know what I'm saying, they still trying to take this shit over, and then later on we find out that it's a whole nother fucking tribe they could have just attacked and made this shit a thousand times easier. They could have just dropped bombs in the ocean, and all this shit would have been over with in an hour and 45 minutes. That's all I'm saying. I don't know, man. I, oh, man. It, it, was a, it was a decent movie, you know what I'm saying? It was a great follow-up, but it wasn't better than the first one. I will say that. Um, I thought the first one was amazing. This one was a little lackluster. Like I said, it, it just it just went on too fucking long. There's no reason this shit should have been three hours. I'm with you. I'm sorry, man. I've been, I've been saying that the whole time. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get into the coming soon, bro. Let's do it. Coming soon to own on video and DVD. All right, man. So what we got next? So what we got next, this is not a joke, and this is not a test. What we got coming up for the coming soon is coming soon. <laughs> so we got all the movies that we are looking forward to that's coming out this year. Um, so we did this before. Uh, we actually did this, I think, in the first year of this podcast is the last yeah. time we did this. So yeah. we uh, gave up to the movies that we was looking forward to that was coming out. So we're doing that again for this year. There's a lot of content that's going to be coming out this year. So we're going to put together some shit separately for all the shit that we're looking forward to this year. So I got to mm-hmm. get on my ball because I haven't actually – I've seen some shit, but mm-hmm. I got to I gotta, I gotta look deeper to see if that's some shit that I may miss. So far, it's only one movie that I want to see this year. And if anybody knows me, they know exactly what that movie is. I mean, I already know my number one. Yeah. It's coming out on Netflix, baby. Well, it's actually coming out in the theaters first next month. And nice. then it comes out on Netflix. It comes it com- it comes out in the theaters in February and then mm-hmm. and then March it'd be on Netflix. So okay. I can't okay. wait. That's what's up, man. I think mine come out, I want to say it's at the end of this month, or it might be the beginning of the next month. But yeah, I can't wait to see this shit. This shit is gonna be amazing. So I'm super excited. Yes, so um, I like these episodes. Listen, man. Yeah, I do too. I do too. Um, y'all stay tuned. Y'all get ready, man. Um, hopefully we'll name some movies that you guys are excited to see as well. If not, you know what I'm saying? You guys can always hit us up on the socials on Instagram and Twitter at View and Nine Pod. You can hit us up on Facebook at VA Pod Watch Group. You can also um hit us up individually. If you want to hit me up personally, you can hit me up on Twitter at Schools Bronson. I got a link tree in my bio. 
You can find me everywhere else there. And y'all can find me at s.foster8 on Instagram and on Twitter at 28 Minutes or Less Pod. That's just on Instagram. Follow the podcast on all major platforms, 28 Minutes or Less. And the last episode, the most recent episode, is episode 113, where I gave my list of best singers of all, well, the greatest singers of all time. That's why I entitled it. Um, I got the idea from the Rolling Stones. They did a 200 list, but um, a lot of people was really focused on the top 50. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to give my top 50 greatest singers of all time. So please let me know what y'all thoughts are on that. If I'm crazy, if I'm super biased, all of that shit. I need to know. Leave me some comments. Some some reviews, all of that shit. I need some feedback on this. For sure, man. So um, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for listening. It's always greatly appreciated. And until the next episode, man, you know what they say. Just like it is in Hollywood, that's a wrap. Cut. <laughs>